Ladies and gentlemen, this Rick Games Silicon video, we're going to be talking about the RX 480. Some supposed leaks have appeared on the internet regarding the GPU's performance and also NVIDIA's GTX 1060 because some specifications have emerged which hint just how the card may perform. So we're going to start out with NVIDIA's stuff first because it's a lot quicker to discuss, to be honest with you, than AMD stuff. Um... Suffice to say, NVIDIA are in this weird position in the market right now with the GTX 1060. To summarise, RX 480 is probably going to be a beast. Whether the next uh, part of the video and the leaks are accurate enough, the card is still going to be pretty monstrous. And logically speaking, NVIDIA do need to segment its own lineup enough to where... People don't just opt to buy the GTX 1060 over the 1070, logically, or it needs to make the 1060 cheap enough where it can compete with the RX 480. So in short, if it's not fast enough and therefore has quite a lot of difference between it and the 470, but it's, let's say, 250, well, obviously, everyone's just going to opt for the RX 480. If it's too fast and is close enough to the four seven uh, to the ten seventy. No one's going to buy the ten seventy, so it's kind of this weird middle ground. But one thing Nvidia do need to do is make sure that it's got enough memory. So the leaks are, and these are two shipping manifest leaks, that uh, one is E twenty nine fourteen A zero one S K U zero zero two zero G P one oh six bring up six gigabyte and another is P G four ten A O zero one uh A zero one excuse me S K U zero zero thirty G P one oh six one nine two B hundred and twenty two M X thirty two D P plus graphics card. Now, that's a whole bunch of numbers, but you can start ascertaining at least some stuff from that. 192B is probably the bus width, 192-bit. And 6 gigabyte. well, I don't think I need to describe what that is. What this potentially means is that we could have a whole bunch of different options. We could have a mobile variant, which is possible, for example, in a laptop. We could have a desktop variant as well. We could have a tie model. Or we could just have the GTX 1060 6GB and the GTX 1060 3GB, just for the sake of argument, or 4GB, or whatever NVIDIA end up um, splitting up the card into. It's an intriguing possibility. From NVIDIA's um, partners in O3D, we know that the card should be in between the performance of the 980 and the 970 great upgrade for folks who let's say have an older card let's say a GTX 760 a 770 and they're looking for an interim upgrade especially if they're waiting for like the really high-end cards but they need something in the middle uh, right now um, whether it's gonna be fast enough for virtual reality your guess is as good as mine I do want to talk about the RX 480 there's a whole bunch of rumours which have popped up, and some of this does link back to a Ford, uh, a Ford, a Forbes article, which um, is an interview with both Rajal Kadori and Chris Hook. Now, these are goals AMD have with RTG, which is the Radeon Technologies Group. Their goals are, uh, amongst others, more overclocking controls. So they want to give more options we brainstormed what kind of voltage controls we can give into them to create better experiences in other words they want you and i to be able to buy the card and to be able to crank it up to the absolute limits obviously there are some concerns which you can take into account for example the amount of tdp obviously if you're only using a six pin connector plus pcie you can only go to 150 watts but that isn't to say that some um Chaps, for example, Sapphire might decide, hey, um, we're going to go with an 8-pin and offer users the ability to crank clocks even higher. Who knows? Regardless, what is quite interesting is some 3D Mark results have appeared online. Now, whether you want to take these as gospel, whether you want to believe them or not, is down to you. But what they show is that the RX 480 is, and this is on Firestrike Ultra Preset, 
scoring about 3,200, which puts it just below the Nano, which is scoring about 3,400, but above the 980, which is scoring about 3,000. There have been a whole bunch of other leaks videos which have popped up on the internet which basically say that the GPU is scoring around these numbers, around the 3,200 to 3,400, but whether these are genuine, whether there has been some photoshops going on, whether there has been some uh, tomfoolery in the background, whether so, say people are deciding, eh, you know what I'm going to do, I'm going to start changing how the graphics card is reported in Catalyst. Uh, or, sorry, I was saying Catalyst, they're Crimson Drivers. We don't know. If it's even slightly accurate, it's absolutely crazy in terms of performance, considering that we could be seeing this card at the 2 to 230, 240 US dollar mark, obviously, depending on whether we see overclocked versions and all the other bits and pieces and the amount of memory you go for. That's absolutely sane. It is. Because if that is not including overclocking, and obviously we don't know whether it's including overclocking, but if it's not including overclocking, theoretically, if it goes to, let's say, 5-10%, that really means you're going to be able to at least compete with the Nano, poss possibly the Fury, possibly even be snipping at the heels of the 980 tie, which means... It's not going to be that far behind the GTX 1070, which is absolutely bonkers for the price. However, once again, I just want to clarify, this is assuming these rumours are true. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.